Hello there, everyone, and thank you for joining me here this start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, in which we're playing as the Batbird Brigade all the way in the very far north. But we start with the origins of the gang. Formed in blood and gore most of the time, Raider gangs certainly aren't always alike. Uh, what were we before we formed? Old War criminals running the gauntlet, but long before anyone else did, or former tribals, taking up the arms for profit and fun, or vault dwellers, broken by experiments and wanting nothing more than to make the wasteland suffer. Origin of the gang. Man, everyone's got a bloody good story and a half pent gang and want to be conquerors, but between you and me, we're the real deal. The realest deal. Now, before we were raiders, we were the real deal. Now, he we, well, hell, well, no one's uh, got it made out like us. Old world criminals. Luxury of a vault with more badassery. We used to be the biggest, baddest tribe. Well, gang lifestyle. Be it killing and maiming, pillaging, or road riding, or raiding, and even simple chem deals, we, every gang's got a shtick. And this is no different, though obviously we're going to go much farther than some two vet chem pushers. So we have Jackie Mitchell here. Cruel time. We can go whatever direction we want. Criminals? Uh, biggest, baddest tribe. This seems like the one I wouldn't choose, so let's go with former tribals. Gang ambition. We're not going to stay on the back burner forever. It's time to go big and we'll take what should be ours. Weaklings and idiots surround us. Why not simply take what we want? We'll do whatever we want to them. We're raiders and nobody Fs with us. Also, we literally don't have any divisions to start. All we have is our militia. So we're going to try to use asymmetric warfare tree. We're going to be, I'm going to be just raging by the end of this campaign, but what kind of gang? The F you mean what kind? You know who we are, you know what we do, and what we do is the best. No one rivals us, anyone that wants to is in for the beginning of a lifetime. We'll rule the roads, loud as fast as hogs out there, where raiders loot, kill, pillage, repeat, what more do you need? We got your fix, every kind of stuff is top quality stuff. As much as I want that one, um, we did go with former tribals, raiders. Let's go with this one. And then we got a lot of stuff here, and I'm going to like normally race for enslaving scientists. Incorporating slavers. Yeah, like kind of bum out some some of the boys out with all the wailing and pleading and such, but slaves are so useful we can't really go without them. You can make them do pretty much anything, and that includes making them think if they last more than five seconds on the front line, they'll be free. Gang ambitions? You know about the future? I'll tell you about our effing future. Banging the top. We're going to go to the top. We got plans, big freaking plans. Boss knows what's up on, on the up and up. Trust me. 20 years from now, we'll rule this freaking wasteland. So you in? You want a slice of the pie, Scab? Taking slaves? Um, the pissing gangs? They don't respect us yet. Same plan as always. We're going to take whatever we need from whomever. We'll go with that one. But slave labor. Organizing massive slave recruitment, putting on the work in construction? Genius. Okay, some of them might lose an arm or two from time to time, but you can't doubt that the brothel got built that way faster than usual. For slavery. You gotta be smart when you use slaves. Push them just hard enough so they have good results, but not quite enough to kill or maim them. That takes a certain degree of skill, and with better training for a slave master, so we can make them work under the harsh desert sun on roads. And saving scientists. Listen, you got those big brains there? Well, yeah, they don't look like much, but maybe, just maybe. They could actually give us better shooties and such. How about we just make them work for us? Watch them close and see how fast they make explosives when you have a gun pointed at them. Starts starting the flow. We recently been ashore on sauce. Everyone knows the sauce makes the world go round, but we don't got the caps at the beginning. A little talk might loosen them up. New leadership. It's time to shake it up in the gang. More and more, the boys begin to whisper, and anyone can tell their air is thick enough to cut it with a knife. What will happen? It'll happen. It'll happen, of course, is a bloodbath, though. Encouraging slavers. It might be pushing a tad too far for some, but more slavers and more caps mean more way more slaves used in our army. Which is always a good thing, of course. We can always use them for other stuff later on. Cutting into the slave trade. When you go local, boys, no more external assets, no more bad deals. We're going to go into the slave trade and make our own company. A lot of quarterly reports and boring meetings with way more chems. Stealing tools. Apparently some of those slaves actually knew stuff. Stuff like location of still-running factories, the entry points, and the exact moment where everyone would be in the same room so you can throw a grenade. That does sound like a plan. Stolen blueprints. Okay, so it seems like we missed some stuff on the last run. Stuff like uh, entire piles of blueprints and advanced technical documents. Don't ask me, they only talked about tools back then. Anyway, let's go back and deal in chems. This is chems ultimate t thing to use in any situation. Just avoid telling people what type of dung you use in it, or at least in jet. Just don't tell them, though, probably, about the dung at all. Improving the heartland. Getting control of the more and more territory inside our reach should be definitely letting us, letting us grow faster. Taking our factories and proceeding to a few executions should bring in most people in line. As we're going to continue doing with our uh, generic sort of normal research stuff as well. Uh, no, not that quite yet. And more output. Even though, you know what, screw it. We're going to ray starts uh, asymmetric warfare. Um, put skulls on sticks. You know, you think scaring people is easy, but now nah, you gotta think about it. Just instead of putting random body parts on sticks and spraying crude messages everywhere, our boys have found it far, it's far more effective to put a decapitated human head still having all its skin. Terrorizing the locals. Uh, sometimes you've gotta take care of simple matters. Threaten some locals, burn down some stuff in the distance, holler at them while firing in the air, but that should calm anyone down wanting to be a hero. That also certainly relieves some stress on our boys while we wait for the next raid. At raiding headquarters. Well, it needs a huge fortress, something that will immediately take the rival gang cower. Make them cower. We'll have huge walls, entire rooms dedicated to weapon production, lots of slaves to build even bigger and better. This will be awesome. Cruel heartland. A lot of space is a waste. It's wasted on unnecessary buildings, like houses or clinics, or even sometimes as stupid as a farm, but burn them all down, that should give us some room to expand in territorial reinforcement. We need to keep both the slaves in and the rival gangs out. 
And for that, we have organized a bunch of raiders to help organize their outposts along the borders. Staffing them is easy. Then these any gang members worth of salt will want to be uh, the first in the action. Dope raiders. We got our hands on something called Super Jam, and while nobody has an idea where it comes from, it makes the boys mad as heck. Just pump a full of the stuff and unleash them on the enemy. Just make sure to wait long a while after the wall withdrawal to kick in, and don't mind the body parts. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the little time lapse so far of us taking out Uranium City and whatever state was over here. I guess it was Lloyd's Ministry, part of them. But at this point, we're re-justifying on or uh, getting Pike's Peak, so we can go to war with these guys and see what happens. Hopefully we can defend well. If not, well then, it's a good thing I saved before this, because we're probably going to end up dying to these guys, because they're pretty thick. And we're going to be th anything. you got to be thick. But, anyways, um, let's do that. And of course, we're try I'm trying to use militia. We're trying here. We're definitely trying. The militia divisions, they, they kind of suck. Well, not just kind of, they really do suck. Um, I'll probably go settlement builder as well as slave flogger just so we can build some civvies and millies faster. Or, you know, civvies as well as uh, factory output. So, even though we're doing well and everything else right now, it's probably best to wait. Um, we're doing alright. I definitely want some rider divisions, but we'll get there eventually. I'm gonna make, and this costs just so much manpower to use, though. So much manpower. Um, it'll make them thicker, though. And it does give a little bit more reconnaissance as well. Up to 13 and a half combat width, so. We'll see what happens. I did want to read some more of these uh, focuses, though, even though I've read them before. Paying the boys. The gang's starting to get a bit rowdy. They ain't be liking the way things have been going. Too much popping, not enough rocking. If we give them a little kickback after the job well done, it should grease your gears. Be a little more expensive, but 20% more organizations are very good. A deal you can't refuse. 
Our gracious friends have been a bit conservative with their donations. I think if we go and give them a nice meal, we can make them an offer that, that helps them and us, but us a little extra. Victory bits. I, I like victory bits a lot. That's pretty good. A better experience soldiers' losses. Raider attack bonus. Not bad. Supply consumption is good, too. Um, control in the trade. Art of the sack. Well, this is more like raiding stuff. Art of the sack. Raiding pill for academic hub. So that, that makes more sense to go over here. We're going to control the hub. Other negotiation to drive the underworld into our world can help us out big time. The big wigs call it horizontal integration. The only thing horizontal will be the people who don't cooperate. Kingpins. And some big books. The kings and queens weren't always a good guy. Sometimes we'd employ more unsavory means for cooperation, but at least we got it, got the good of the gang at heart. And the gang, they're, they're all that matters, really. That's what I thought. I didn't think we actually would ever do this, so. Hold here real quick, luck. And actually, if anything, you guys can help out there, too. Yeah, these guys are not bad. They're 18 combo with as well, so. We'll see. We do have air up here, too. But they do have a lot of divisions. That's why I wanted to go to war with them. Maybe they start attacking us or something. I don't know. Um... But hey, you know what? We'll see. Ooh, they do have some of that there. We need way more anti-tank. Uh, so we'll see if we can do well up there. We should. So we're going to do all of that stuff. Lightning raids. We're in and out before they even know what happened. That's how it goes, boys. We're going fast, hard. Take the loot and the slaves in their lives. Proving yourself. If you want to lead our boys, you better prove you can. Well, that generally means you can beat someone to death with his own arm. Sound tactical choices are also acceptable, I guess. Generally quality through violence. We don't really discriminate around here. If you can throw a grenade far enough to land it where it's funny to watch it explode, or if you can slice someone's arm off with a machete, you're in. Brutal hazing. Why train our troops when you can just dope them to hack and have them fight each other? Whoever's left is clearly more experienced than the other after all. Taking what we need. Raiding is pretty simple business, actually. What's hard is, is seeing if it's really worth taking on that PA patrol and how long, or how. And with some more experience against simple targets, we can prove our raiding techniques. Recruiting them young. I like them young. That would certainly bring more men to the front line yet, just have to make sure that they can actually lift the rifle or aim it. The boss. As whispers spread and people look more and more shifty, the boss is beginning to think that maybe the worms don't know their place. A good beating would probably take care of that, otherwise some brain on the wall would do just well as well. Don't question the boss. Even in the middle of punching a traitor, having tried to stab him in the back, the boss's mind wandered to deep questions. Would it really work like this? Maybe bribing them would be better. But as he felt something wet splash on his face, namely bits of bones and blood from the caved in face he was bashing, he realized the violence is perfectly good as well. The iron grip. Ooh, that's not bad too. A few executions here, a few maimings there, some particularly violent killings with impressive stuff such as grenades or shotguns, and voila, as the game was entirely beat to him again. It was almost boring, everyone quickly got back to work even harder than before, and he got back on his throne of metal and skulls, exactly as it should be.
Well, everybody, uh, this is not going as well as I hoped it would, and the Strath Commune really needs to be probably nerfed a little bit more, but, you know, whatever. Um, I'm going to end it here. I'm going to spend a lot of time off screen uh, just kind of working through this, because this is honestly really freaking ridiculous, and I hate Militia. Militia needs a hard rework, in my opinion, but that's just me, and we're going to struggle no matter what with this. But, Raider Headquarters. What we really need is a huge fortress. Something that will immediately make rival gangs cower. We'll have huge walls, entire rooms dedicated to weapon production, lots of slaves to build it even bigger and better. This will be awesome. Territorial loyalties. As we give more and more loot to our troops, they certainly will take a liking to the lifestyle. Combine that with reminding them what generally happens to raiders caught by actual nations, and that will make them fight all the harder to keep this kind of life. Manifest Destiny. Look around, we're surrounded by no morons. They're so weak too. They barely have anything on them, don't even know how to lift a rifle. Why are we scared of them again? Land loot cities? They should be ours, and we'll make them ours by force. We never die. Well, I mean, except when we do, but you know what I mean. The gang never dies. I mean, there's just so much pillaging and looting and lo shooting. How could it ever? We'll keep getting more boys, we'll keep getting more recruits, and thus we'll keep getting more loot. Stealing from the competition. Okay, so how about instead of building stuff, we just steal them? I mean, we're raiders, it does make sense. We would also save us the trouble. Slaving hub. Maybe we should give our slaves actual buildings. We'd certainly improve morale and free up all the spaces the ramshackle camps occupy and fill in the stash. We need more and more stuff to fuel our war machine, water for the boys, scraps for the factories, and get to it. Keep thinking about that shiny new APC you want, and you'll work even harder. Uh, slave researchers. Supplementing our scientists with forcefully recruited engineers should make them work that much faster, and result in even more cool stuff for us to play with. Just imagine, we could do, maybe even have a gun that doesn't explode in your face. Shiny new toys. Now look at this shiny weapon. I have no idea how it works. And maybe it doesn't look as flashy as black gunpowder, but... Uh, or black powder guns, but punches right through any idiot thinking about a bunch of scrap will save them. Ain't that just well? Maybe we'll just give the eggs head some booze. Violently kicking the generator. I have absolutely no idea why the engineers keep saying we need to kick stuff. You would think they need some proper care, but they just keep talking about percussive maintenance. Well, Alright, then I'll just kick it, I guess. Don't stand too close to it after, though. But if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, as we will hopefully not be struggling so much against the god dang Strath Commune. Thanks for watching, have a great Batford Brigade rest of your day.